Okay, this week's drug is GHRP2. It is in the same family as GHRP6, um, and it is a second generation hexapeptide, 28 amino acid chain. Basically, it's a second gen GHRP6. Now, it still works on the same axes, the ghrelin receptor, which is obviously the hormone linked with gut, in the gut with appetite and energy consumption. The strange thing is GHRP is stronger, so it will produce a greater GH pulse. And yet its impact on appetite is less than that of GHRP6. I don't know why, is the honest answer, and I can't seem to find anything that can explain why. What I have seen is studies showing that GHRP has an impact on uh, appetite and an increase of around 10%. So it does still affect your appetite, but no way in the the extent that GHRP6 does, or for that matter, MK677, which seems to be the daddy of these drugs when it comes to appetite increases. There is some issues with prolactin um, use with GHRP2, but there's little in the way of studies to be exactly sure as to why or whether desensitization occurs. Uh, it has a relatively fast acting life. It will peak in 15 minutes and will pretty much be done in about 60. Dosing is very similar to that of GHRP6. 100 micrograms three times a day would be your regular start dose. And keep it clear of food by about an hour either side. You can buy that with a GHRH, like CJ1295. And again, you're going to be able to reduce the dose and you're going to get a lot bigger spike. And that is pretty much it. It has been shown to increase lean muscle mass, the same as GHRP6. There's no studies actually showing any decrease in body fat levels. But with an increase in lean tissue, obviously we have a decrease in body fat percentage. Improvements on sleep, side effects are very, very similar, like all growth hormone secretors uh, or cetragogs, or however you say that bloody word. Um, We are looking at water retention, but improved sleep, possible some mild um, pins and needles in the hands and feet, uh, and some carpal tunnel type um, symptoms in the hands. But in general, most people tolerate it quite well. It is an injectable, same as GHRP6, and therefore has to be stored refrigerated once mixed. And that is pretty much it. So there you go. So I will continue with the peptides next week. I'm not sure which one I will do, but we'll do another one next week and we'll slowly work our way through them all. Thank you very much for your time and I'll speak to you soon.